everyone, I'm Teacher Al. Welcome to my channel. Today, our topic is about how to find the domain and range of a function. Uh, this given uh, coordinates, it also belongs to functions because for every coordinates, there is x and y, x and y, x and y, x and y, x and y. So, all the x, yun po ang tinatawag na domain. Kaya to find the domain, kunin lang po natin yung mga x-coordinate. 1, 3, 6, 9, and 7. For the range naman, yun yung tinatawag na ordinate or the y-coordinate. 2, 4, 8, 6, and 5. Yan na po yung domain. Ang range natin ay 2, 4, 8, 6, 5, and the domain is 1, 3, 6, 9, 7. Okay, sagutan po natin yung pangalawa. The given function is y equals 3x negative 4. What is the domain? So, if we're going to make a line, and this is the negative infinity, and we have here the positive infinity. From here, 0, going to left side is negative going to the right is positive. So, if we will uh, pick up any number here, so, no problem for this. Why? So, therefore, all the value of x belongs here, either positive or negative. So, if we will use, for example, 9 times 3 minus 4, so we have another answer. So, therefore, all the negative infinity and positive infinity is our domain because the, uh, the result here, if we will use the, all the real numbers here, is the set of real numbers for this y equals to 3x plus 4 for the x. So, therefore, our domain is negative infinity, meaning from 0 to negative infinity is the solution of this x, of these functions, and uh, x is the real numbers here. Then all the numbers from 0 going to here, infinity is our domain, positive. Okay, yan pa. Yan ang kanyang domain. Kasi any number na pick up natin is substitute here is a solution of y. So therefore, the solution of y is, is any of this uh, number here. Okay, next. What is the domain of y equals 4 over x negative 2? Remember, uh, if we have 0, division is undefined. So, on the minutes dito is if we're going to solve for x negative 2 not equal to 0 and not equal to 0 transpose equals to positive. So x now is equals to not equal to 0. So 2 now is not the solution of that uh, number 3. Okay, 2. So exemption from 2. So if we have the line here, So if this is 1, 2, this is 0, 2 is here. So the negative infinity is here, and the positive infinity goes here. Now, what is the domain? So since there is an exemption, uh, x is not equal to 2. So, this is the exemption. Pag exemption, ito po yung gagamitin natin na symbol B7. 2 is not included. So, the solution now is negative infinity
then two, then the symbol not included, two meaning not included. Then this will be union, okay, union two, from two, here, then going to positive infinity, except two, because of the symbol. Except, based on our computation, two is not included, because if two is included, we're going to have here undefined. That's why two is not the solution of these functions. So, ito na po yung ating uh, domain, negative infinity up to two, then union to two, to positive infinity. This is the first and goes here. Okay, next, uh, there is a radical sign and this is called the radicand. See to it that our radicand is not a negative result. So we have to let's compute now. 2x, kunin po natin yung radicand. Then ang gagamitin, because of the radical, ang gagamitin natin ay greater than or equal to 0. Then transpose become positive 10. Then there, here is 2x. And next is we're going to divide 2x divided by 2. 10 divided by 2. x now is greater than or equal to 5. So to determine now the domain, so if we're going to illustrate, this is the line, this is the zero, and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. So here is the five, which is our solution here. Then we're going to ask what number is greater than five? So six, so meaning to say going to the right. So since greater than equal to, meaning to say five is included in the solution set. And this is the positive and penalty. This is the negative and penalty. Now what is the solution? The solution now is bracket. 5 is included, based on our competitions here, then positive and penalty. Okay, continuation. Okay, okay we have to answer number 5. The given is graph y equals to x squared plus 6, then identify the domain range. To graph y equals x squared plus 6, so kailangan natin yung x. Kahit anong number yung lagay natin dito, wala pong limit yan sa x na yan. For discussion purposes, simply kukunin lang natin yung mababang number para madali natin ma-describe, ma-explain. Then, how to find the y? So, yung y ay kailangan natin computein. So, yung given na equation y equals x squared plus 6 then, yung ginawa natin negative 1 yung value ng x. That's why we have negative 1, x squared plus 6. Then, negative 1 times negative 1 because dalawang exponent, ibig sabihin, dudublin lang natin yung base. So, the answer is positive 1 plus 6 equals 7. So, ang y natin ngayon ay 7. Next, solve naman natin what is the value of y if x is negative 2. The same equation equals x squared plus 6. Then the value of x is negative 2. Then the squared plus 6 equals, since dalawa yung 2 ang exponent, to double natin yung base, negative 2 times negative 2 equals positive 4 plus 6 equals 10. 10 po ang sagot dito sa mga lawang kolom. Sa pangatlong kolom, kasabdi natin ulit siya, the same uh, given 
uh, functions y equals to x squared plus to six equals the value of x is zero, exponent is two, plus six equals zero, plus six, so the answer is six. Therefore, the answer is six. Next is this column y equals x squared plus 6 equals the value of y of x is 1 squared plus 6 1 times 1 equals 1 plus 6 equals 7 and sorry 7 then the last is y equals to x squared plus 6 is equals to the value of x is 2 squared plus 6 2 times 3 equals 4 plus 6 equals 10 o, tapos na po, nakompleto na natin ang alamin natin what is the coordinates the coordinates now is negative 1 7 the coordinates is negative 2 then 10 the coordinates is 0 and 6 here is 1 and 7, 2 and 10. Okay, complete na po yung coordinates. O, pwede na po tayo mag-drop ngayon. Uh, negative 1, 7. Hanapin natin. This is, for example, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Positive 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6. Okay. Now, the first coordinate is negative 1 and 7. This negative 1. Then count po tayo ng 7 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Ito po yung 7. Ang point niya ay nandi dito. Dapat nakalign siya dito sa 1. The next is negative 2, 10. Negative 2, 10. This is negative 1. Negative 2. Kakount po natin. Ito 7 up po. Ito 7. Ilagyan natin. 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 2 is here. So, nandito po yung alignment niya. Dito po siya. Dito po yung coordinate na yan. The next is 0, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dito po yung 6. Sa point na to. Then, next is 1, 7, 1, count 7 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, align dito rin po yung isang coordinate na yan. Next is 2, 10, 2, 1, 2, then count 10. O, oh, ito po, tapat din po siya dito sa isang. Then, ikukunik na po natin siya. Okay. Magandang po siya. O, continuous po siya. Ganun. So, masasabi natin ngayon ang graph is parabola. Kaya, pag ang equation, ang exponent ay 2, second degree, so, ang kanyang graph is parabola. Ito po yung parabola na tinatawag. Tapos, upward because the sign here is positive. Pag nag-negative ito, pabaliktad po yan. Ngayon, ang next natin ay nag-graph na po natin siya. Ang ating alamin ay nasa ng domain, nasa ng rings. Ano po yung domain at saka ano po yung rings? Ang domain, ng, ang domain natin ay yung x, 
and pen it here. Yan po yung determine natin to x-axis. Then positive and pen it Ito po yung nasa axis then positive going to the right. So, kung titinan natin yung graph, tuloy-tuloy po yan doon. So, ibig sabihin, nag-increase siya papunta doon. Papunta din sa so, yung isa papunta dito. So, walang katapusan. So, this is called infinity, infinity, positive, and negative. So, that is why our domain based on the graph continuous negative infinity. And here, the other one arrow continues to the positive infinity. So, yan na po ang ating domain. How about to determine the range? Remember, range is y, y axis. So, ito po yung point 6. So, ang point 6 kasama po sa graph. Kaya, lalagyan natin na ganun. So, ibig sabihin yung 6, papataas siya kasama ang 6, ang 6 na yan. So, ang range natin, kung kasama yung x, then linagyan natin ng ganito, going upward. So, ang range natin ay yung 6 kanina, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is, dahil kasama po siya sa included sa graph, 6 po ang ating range. Then, Ang y po natin ay magmula dito pataas. So, continuous po dito ang y natin pa ganun. Included sa mga solution na yan. That's why yung ating y ay uh, positive and penetrate rin. Kasi nandito rin yung positive and penetrate. Okay, continuous din siya. So, therefore, Nakuha na po natin yung range, ang domain, ang range. O na, nasagot na po natin yung tanong ng, right, ng 5. Ito po yung graph. Bago tayo makapag-graph, kailangan tayo maggawa ng table. Itong x na to ay kahit anong number ilagay natin, yung y, kukumpute natin base sa given equation. Okay, I hope you understand. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like and share. Mm.